are just three tips for beginners that are gonna make you more successful on the field. Okay, number one is play football. Now you may have heard this phrase before, like, oh, that team plays good football, or they're trying to play football. And what that means is they're playing the way the game should be played. And what that is, is passing, movement, using technical skill to be successful on the field. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. In contrast to playing football is playing, I don't know what you would call it, but playing ugly. And by that, I mean, say we're the red team and we're going forward, instead of trying to keep possession of the ball, like I said, passing, moving, using our skills to knock the ball around and create opportunities for ourselves, we take that out of the game and we play extremely direct, okay? Just playing long balls over the top, pumping the ball forward, chasing it down, hoping for the best. When we are on the ball, we panic and we just kick it up the field and pressure hoping to win the ball, okay? That is not what you want to do. I would much rather you try to play football, get on the ball, pass, be composed, pass, move the ball, use your skill in certain areas to create chances. I would much rather you do that and lose the ball and make mistakes then be scared to play football and play this very ugly style of soccer. Just kick it up the field and hope for the best. Saying that, there are times, say we're in our own box, okay? There are times to play ugly. Just get that ball out of there. We need to protect our goal. But when we have time, we need to play the right way. Move the ball, okay? Get on that ball in good areas. Use our technical skill to create chances. So I want you to get on the ball and I want you to think about making good passes, moving, getting the ball back, making more passes, using your technical skills in certain areas to be players, create space for yourself, create space for your teammates and play football, okay? Right now you are a beginner, you might be very panicked when you're on the ball and you just kick the ball up the field. And even, I see it all the time, especially in youth leagues, really young age, especially in a country like Canada, United States, North America, where we don't understand the concept of good football. Players are just kicking the ball up the field as far as they can, and the parents, the fans are saying, oh yeah, great job, great kick, good stuff, okay? That's not what I want you to do. I want you to be composed on the ball, I want you to play passes, I want you to keep possession of this thing right here, the ball, that's the most important thing, okay? So when you're on the ball, Try to be calm, think about keeping the ball, making nice passes. When we're in certain areas, I'm gonna use my skills to get out of trouble, keep that ball moving, okay? Create chances for each other by keeping the ball, playing passes, using your technical skill to beat players, using your skill to keep possession of the ball, playing football the way it should be played, which is passing, moving, and using your skills. Okay, so that's number one, it's tip for beginners. Play football. Play the game the way it's meant to be played. Use your skill, move the ball. Don't just kick the ball and chase it and hope for the best. Keep possession of that ball, move it around the field, use your technical skill. Number one is, or sorry, that's number one. Number two, second tip for beginners I have for you in this video, is I want you to play direct. I want you to play forward. So just listening to my last point on playing football, I don't want you to just kick it up the field and hope for the best. That's not what I'm saying when I say play direct. When I'm saying play direct is what I mean is I want you to go forward whenever possible, okay? Lots of players, we get in the habit of we don't want to make mistakes, so what do we do when we're on the ball? We get a little bit of pressure and instead of trying to play forward, trying to play into these dangerous areas, we turn and we play the ball backwards, okay? This guy gets pressured, we turn, we play the ball backwards. Ball gets out here, we turn, we play the ball backwards, okay? Whenever you can, I want you to get turned and I want you to play the ball forward. If we can keep possession of the ball, play the ball forward. Why? That's how we score goals. So whenever you're on the ball, if you have time to turn, 
If you have a little bit of space, I want you to get your head up. Can you play the ball forward and can you get forward? Can you join in the attack? Can we play the ball forward and can we get forward? Join in the attack. Okay, if we're always playing sideways or playing the ball backwards, we're never going to create chances. We're going to have to resort to just kicking it up there because we don't have any creativity, but we don't have any courage or bravery on the ball. So if you're playing this midfielder here, you show for space, can you get turned? Can you play the ball forward? Can we play it into space? I'm not saying force the ball. If all of our guys are marked, okay, there's nothing wrong with keeping possession of the ball, moving, getting it back again, getting it again, getting turned. Now can we play forward in a different way, okay? If it's not on, I'm not just going to force it. I'm not going to try to play forward because that's what Dylan said to do in his videos. No, okay, I'm not saying force it, but I'm saying play direct whenever possible. So if this isn't on, there's absolutely nothing wrong with turning, playing that ball back, and then we switch, we go up the field the other way, and we play forward, okay? But when you get the ball at your feet, ask yourself, can I play forward? Can I go forward? Okay, that may mean playing a pass to someone in a better position. That may mean dribbling with purpose into the box, okay? If you want to score goals, if you want to be creative, if you want to be effective, you want to be a good attacker, you need to play forward whenever you can, okay? So when you receive that ball, before that ball is even coming to you, you should be looking over your shoulder asking, can I play forward? Can I get forward right away? Okay, without hesitation, get forward, get in the box. So saying that, yes, we're saying we're playing forward, but also you, getting forward, okay? Midfielders need to get forward. Fullbacks need to get forward. Even center halves need to get forward. We need to support the play, okay? Get forward. When we're, our team is attacking, can we get forward? Don't just wait back here just because you're a fullback. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy. Just because you're a fullback or you're a defensive midfielder, don't just wait back here because, oh, I'm a defender. That's not my job. No, everyone gets forward. Everyone joins in the attack. Fullbacks get forward, okay? So we can keep on playing forward. So I'm just going to stop there with that point. Point number two is be direct. Play forward whenever possible. Don't force the ball, but if the pass is on, play it forward. Don't be afraid of playing that forward pass because you might lose the ball. You need to take chances in order to score goals. So when you're getting on the ball, ask yourself, can I play forward? Can I get turned? Can I play forward? Can I join in the attack? Okay? So what was number one? Number one was play football. Play the game it's meant to be played. That is passing, moving, using your skills. Don't just rely on kicking the ball forward and pressuring the opposing team. Number two is play direct. Play forward. Okay, play with urgency. Play to score goals from the first minute of the game. Don't wait till the 90th minute of the game and now we get on the ball, we have urgency, we're trying to play forward, getting crosses, playing through balls. No, do that from the first minute. Okay, play forward, get on the ball, play forward, try to score goals. That's the point of this game. In order to win, you got to score more goals than the other team. So if you do that from the first minute of the game, get on that ball. Look, can I play forward? Can I play forward? Yes, I can play forward. Go forward. Okay, so number two, be direct, play forward. Finally, number three, the last point I want to leave with you in this video of tips for beginners is play defense. Now, this may seem like a very foolish point. Oh, thanks for the great tip, but it's the truth, okay? A lot of us aren't playing defense, especially if we're on the attacking side. Say we're a winger or we're a striker or attacking midfielder. We're skipping out on that half of the game. We're leaving that to our teammates. But everyone needs to play defense. And if you want to be more involved in the play, you want to stand out more, you want to get on the ball more, you want to have a bigger impact on the game, you need to defend more. Okay, the more you defend, the harder you defend, the more you will be involved in the play. I can guarantee you that. Okay, so obviously our defenders are going to defend. Okay, they're good at that. That's why they're defenders. But everyone else needs to help out. Okay, so that means if I lose possession here or even if I don't lose possession. Okay, say I'm a winger here and suddenly the opposing team has that ball. I'm not just going to watch. I'm not just going to say, hey, good luck, buddy. Go do your job, go defend. These guys are gonna do their job, but can you come and help out? Okay, they're doing their job closing down. Oh, suddenly this guy gets turned, and look, you're here, you win the ball. You're on the ball. You wanna be attacker, you wanna be on the ball lots. Well, guess what? Doing that defensive work got you on the ball. 
Now you're involved in the play. Now you can get that ball, pass, move, get back into space, play forward like we talked about, play football. Okay? So a couple things when defending. Don't just jog at this guy and say, yeah, yeah, like I said, I'm an attacker, I'm not going to defend really, okay? Be more intense with your defending. This guy has the ball, can you get that ball? Can you get that ball as quickly as possible? Especially when you're an attacker, if you can defend from the front, pressure these guys. It's okay if he slips past you every once in a while because you have your midfielders and your defenders back here to help you out, okay? But pressure that guy. If he beats you, don't give up on it. Backtrack, pressure that again, win that ball. Now we play, now we keep possession, okay? If you are in any position where the ball is coming to someone in your area, okay? When he gets that ball, I don't want you to be here I want you to be right on him, okay? So playing defense is about anticipating and reading the play. When that ball comes into him, you should be right here. Boom, right on him, right away, okay? So I'm blocking passes. I'm forcing them to go backwards. I'm forcing him to make mistakes, okay? If that ball is played in too loosely or this guy's not going to the ball, I'm going to jump in in front of him and win that ball, okay? So I could talk for hours about how to defend properly. And if you want more videos on defending, Go to my YouTube channel and search defending or how to defend and you'll get some good videos there. But what I want to get at here is if you want to be more involved in the play, you want to be a standout player, well work on your defense. Defend harder. Ask yourself, how can I win the ball back? Okay, now saying that, if I am the left winger, I'm not going to run all the way over here to win the ball. I still need to keep my possession. But anytime the ball is over here, I'm going to do my part to win that ball back. Okay. Defenders, you do your job well, you pressure that ball, don't give him time to play, okay? When he's on the ball here, I'm not just going to give him space and say, yeah, we're protecting our goal. You give him time, he will hurt you. He'll play a ball into the box or he'll dribble at you with speed and now he's at an advantage, okay? So close down that space quickly, force him to go backwards, and then your teammates are going to come help you out, win possession of that ball. So let's stop that video for today because I always talk way too long in these tactics videos. But tips for beginners, three valuable tips for beginners. One, play football. Play the way the game was meant to be played. That means keeping possession of the ball. Don't just kick it away. Pass, move off the ball. Use your skills to get out of trouble. Use your skills to create chances. Number two was play direct. Be very forward with your play, okay? So from the first minute of the game to the last minute of the game, especially if your team needs to score or you wanna win the game, get forward whenever possible, okay? So I don't wanna be comfortable playing sideways all the time, playing backwards all the time. Whenever I can, I'm getting turned and I'm trying to go forward or I'm passing the ball to someone in a forward position and then I'm joining in the play, either overlapping or supporting the play. I'm getting forward, okay? Be direct, play with urgency, play to score goals. And finally, one of the best tips I can give you as a beginner is work harder on defense, okay? So work harder to pressure the ball. If your team is defending, work harder to get back. Do those simple things and you will be much more successful on the field. But like I say, in all my videos, this knowledge, this information I've given you is absolutely useless unless, unless, <laughs> unless, unless you use it the next time you play. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy.